game. Wow. Those Yeezys are $600? Only if I could afford them. Oh my god. Dang, I need to look up ways to make money as a kid because I obviously can't get a job only 12. Um, this looks like a good video. Let's check it. Hey, are you a kid who is sitting at home and wants to afford big stuff? Yes. You've clicked on the right video then. Yo, what is up guys, Zach Gurkir is here back with another video. Now today guys, oh there's a card. And today guys, I'm actually gonna be talking about how to make money as a kid. Because I know a lot of you wanna buy that Xbox or that PlayStation and those shoes and I'm like I'm that way too. But sometimes I'm able to do because I know the skills. So anyway guys, so I'm gonna go over a couple different ways to make money as a kid. So if you're new, please subscribe, like, comment, hit the notifications button. And yeah, sorry if I'm a little bit tired. Guys, I have a confession to make. I am, what is the word? I am officially addicted to Fortnite, okay? Like I stayed up until like 11 last night playing, oh my god. Oh yeah, thank you for so much support lately. I know my videos have been way better. Been trying, grinding. And yeah, we are gonna get into this video. So now the first way to do it is basically, oh, hello. Hold on, people are here. Okay guys, sorry about the distraction. Anyway, the first way to make money on YouTube, wait, no, not on YouTube, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. Anyway, the first way to make money as a kid, I actually wrote notes, okay, is to mow lawns. Basically, you could do like, I'll just put it this way. You do lawns for anybody. You could do it for your parents. So you could go up to your parents and ask them if they need like a person to do the lawn, and, like learn how to do it. Look up YouTube videos. I'm sure. I'm sure you can look up a YouTube video how to mow a lawn. Like I don't personally do that, but I've just heard that one a lot. I know it's helpful. So yeah. So maybe ask your neighbors to. They hey like, pull go knock on your neighbor's door. Like hey, give them a piece of a flyer or something like. Hey, I, w I mow lawns. If you need me to mow your lawn, I'll do an amazing job. But then you got to make sure you're actually good at it. Make sure you actually do a good job because then you're going to lose business. My brother. <laughs> okay, anyway, guys. So that is the first way. Second way is walk the neighbor's dog. So I, I know a lot of these chores are for your neighbors because they're the... Let's just say like that, I would get more exposure. Don't only do stuff for your family, and do stuff for your neighbors. Like, neighbors live right there, it's easy, boom. You know what I'm saying? So, what you could do is, if you know a neighbor like works a lot, then they have a dog always stays in, offer the walk. Go, I'm not kidding. God. So anyway guys, if you know that your neighbors have a dog that they need to walk because they work a lot, please just go walk the dog. So what you're gonna do is go basically knock on their door, just say like, hey, I'm, offer them to walk your dog then at first what about I would say offer to do it free at first but then so they can see like hey did you like my service then be so basically do services for your neighbors I'm trying to say not just walking a dog but like I said if they work a lot and they don't really have time to walk their dog offer to do it it'll be amazing trust me go knock on their door hey I know you have a dog Hello guys, I'm editing this and I forgot to add this in, but basically what I mean by is do it for free is basically do it for free, then over time they're going to start offering you money because how good of a job you're doing. It's so like, I wouldn't really go up to a neighbor's door and say, hey, five bucks and I'll walk your dog. That just comes across rude, do you know what I mean? So start doing it for free, then slowly build it up, then they'll start paying you just like to be nice, if they're nice. Well, obviously do it to a nice neighbor. Thank you. Enjoy the video. I'll offer the walk it for free the first time, and if you like it, then I'll do it again. So yeah, that is my second way. Let's go to the third. Can I wrote some notes, so. Suitable for everybody, but just gonna throw it out, babysit. Okay guys, you're screaming good and bruised. Anyway guys, so babysit. I, I used to do it to my brother. Well, not, I don't mean literally sit on a baby. Come on, I know there's, come on guys, I know there's gonna be that one troll. If you guys made it to this part in the video, come and sit on a baby in the comments, okay? Just do it. I just wanna get some hate, okay? Okay, whatever, anyway. So you guys can babysit. If you're responsible and good at it, go babysit, right? Do it to a little sibling, do it to a close friend. I'm gonna do it to anybody you don't know, but 
oops, I don't know how old you guys are, obviously. So, like, um, just make sure you do it to your parents' close friend. Maybe their friend just ha has a kid that's younger than you, maybe. That part you just gotta figure out. Babysitting, there. I don't really know much about it because I didn't really do it. Number four, this isn't really a way of making money. This is kind of probably going to be the biggest segment. The most thing that people don't get it, it's saving your money, okay? I've been there. Your friends ask you, hey, want to go to the Astro Skate? Hey, want to go to the movies? Hey, hey, hey. You know what I mean? An entire weekend, 100 bucks spent. If you're that popular, but I'm not popular, but... Yeah, see what I mean? So you guys just gotta be able to save your money, okay? I would say, here's how it's put it. So let's say you want an item. Just not it. if you want an item in general, you're trying to save your money, that's why you clicked on this video. So let's say, for example, Yeezys, okay? Or an Xbox, um, okay? So Yeezy is gonna be like $600, I think. So basically, what if you wanna save up for that, okay? Say your goal, okay? I wanna save up for these in three months, okay? By the way, that's doable if you follow my steps. Anyway, guys, so well, I would say that every piece of money you make, every tip I give you, every money, every piece of money you made, I would say put at least 20% into a bank account. If you haven't opened a bank account yet, open one. Open one. That's simple. Or a wallet or something. I don't know. So every 20% you put into a bank account, then that's going to help you save if you really want to still spend money. Because trust me, it adds up. If you're spending 100 a weekend, if you put 20% of what you earn, then that means you only spend 80, which helps. Gavin! Get away! God, he's making drags jump on the door. Gavin, I'm not kidding. Stop. Anyway, guys, I'm going to, like, save your money, like... Just don't spend it. Like, whenever you're somewhere, you're like, Mom, man, please, please get that ice cream. Oh, you gotta pay for it by yourself. Two bucks gone. It adds up. You keep losing money. You keep making money, losing it, okay? That's what happens to everybody. Okay, I'm gonna save up for this $500. You make five bucks doing something. Then you spend it five bucks. Make five bucks. Spend five bucks. Make ten. Sp spend five. Make 15, spend 20, do you know what I mean? Like it adds up, then you just never make money because you're always spending. So I would just say, save. Just know when you wanna buy that little tiny thing, think to yourself, would I rather have that Xbox or would I rather get that five, that thing you're not gonna really want as much, okay? Just gotta want it. I just use the J. Cole quote. I know, but no, you just gotta want it. Anyway, number five, this might not be suitable for everyone because not everybody has some in mind, but offer a service. For example, I'm a magician. I go do magic and for parties and events and stuff, and I make some okay money. I'm not gonna say that because it's rude. But anyway, I just make some okay money doing that. If you're good at something, offer a service. Like, I know it's not probably magic because not a lot of you are magicians, but I would say just offer a service. Let's say you like making bracelets okay sell the bracelets you know what i mean if you like drawing and you're really good at it you have to be really good at it just draw draw some i don't know sell it you know what i'm saying that easy offer a service yeah now number six this is my favorite one it's not gonna be like i'm not gonna say suitable for everyone because everything should be suitable for everyone but anyway so this is gonna take a little bit of time but in the work and it'll be worth it youtube do youtube do youtube the new youtube rules if you were back here in 2017 the rules were 10,000 views then you get your videos monetized no now they made it that you had that four thousand hours of watch time if you're good at something if you like Drawing, showcasing them. If you like tutorials on some, start a YouTube channel. Get the right equipment. Again, save your money up. Save your money up for the sub you need. So basically, it's like investing in a way. It's like save your money with the skills I t told you. Save your money up. Buy your camera. Buy your tripod. Whatever you need. But like I have, I have a Canon SX730HS, um, which is about 400. Then every all the camera equipment was like 600 together, and I saved up from those skills. I mean, I made money, saved it. Made money, saved it. You know what I mean? So then I finally got up there. And yeah. So then I'm investing it. So hopefully one day I get 4,000 hours of watch time. 
So then I can start making money off of YouTube. Then I'll make it all back. I'll be rich in the hills. No, I'm kidding. Not rich in the hills, but hopefully I can make it all back one day. Hopefully. So, I'm obviously, I'm not a good enough YouTuber yet where I can say how to start a YouTube channel because I'm not successful yet. I mean, yes, I've been doing very good. Like, you all can agree that you've seen a definitely an increase in the views of my videos because I've learned some tips and tricks. But yeah, I'm sure you can look all over YouTube to find how to start a successful YouTube channel. But yeah, to YouTube. Use all those tips. I guarantee you, you'll be able to save up for the thing you want or save. <sighs> Talking, talking, talk. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe, like, comment, hit the notifications button for every other day videos like I am doing. And yeah, come to comment down below some video ideas. And yeah, peace out.